Welcome back to the Audio Lounge Show. Let me say this. Thanks to French Quarters Guest Apartments for being our New York City hotel. Let them be your headquarters in New York City. Go to FrenchQuartersNY.com to book your next day. That's FrenchQuartersNY.com to book your next day. And yeah, guys, you can give me A-Rod's um, complete stats so far. He's hitting 261. I need his homers, too, because I'm going to the Yankee game tomorrow. My first and only Yankee game this season, playing the Giants. I'm going with my Uncle Tommy and uh, Adrian. I'm going to the game, so when I heckle A-Rod and brutally mm. and, 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 and just obnoxiously boo him, I want exact numbers. He's hitting 261. That's really taking a, a dip. This ne'er-do-well He was up over 300 for a while, right? $28 million a year nothingness. Yeah. Scumbag! How do you feel about this, <laughs> Antonio? I mean, you're a guy. You're a great athlete. You're not in the league, and this this dirt bag, twenty eight million dollars a year, two sixty one. He's hitting. Your thoughts? I mean, the Yankees got ten more games to go. Yeah, eight wins, right? They need it. Eight, eight to nine wins to but to make the playoffs, sure right? Yeah, I mean, I'm a Yankee fan. I hope they get the eight to nine wins. Yeah, I am too. He's got you know? two sixty one, six home runs. I tell you what. I'm a Yankee fan, too, so I hope that A-Rod, you know, has a career-ending injury. <laughs> uh -huh. Nothing too crazy. That's, you know, nothing like life-threatening. Well, maybe life-threatening for an afternoon, so he gets a little, uh, you know, like, scared. But then it's fine, and then he goes in the sunset with the 100 million he's already got, some hot broad, goes to Miami and does nothing. Doesn't talk to anybody. Doesn't huh. talk to anybody. That's, That's what I want as a Yankee fan. You have a different thought. You got a good shot at that, at that going down. I'd oh, look at that! Look how classy Andy Reid is. He could have. Look uh, at the size of him. He could have scored. He's oh. he's kneeling on the ball. I think he was just waiting for the Gatorade shower. Yeah, I think he knew it was coming. He but he gladly received it. He, he knelt that. on the ball. They were at like the five yard line. They could have easily punched another score in. Hey, does he shower with the rest of the team, guys? <laughs> no. Like, where does the coach shower? I've never seen him shower with it. Sometimes coaches will shower with, with the, the other the coaches. Rest of the guys. Yeah. He will? Yeah. The, no. The, with, Could you imagine? That's in what college, you did? In ever, college. Did, did you, was, you always showered with the coaches? <laughs> did did no. he shower next to Terrell? In Holmes? college at away games, you'd shower with coaches at times. Could you but imagine Andy Reid? Where there. did you go, Penn State? No, I went to Michigan and Stanford. Nah, he was, he was drafted by <laughs> Sandusky. That's funny, though. <laughs> he was drafted by Sandusky. He was. <laughs> no, he recruited me. Nice. Did you imagine Andy Reid shower next to like Terrell Owens? Yeah, I can and Andy imagine. Reed's, Andy Reid's probably got one of those fat guy penises. Where, <laughs> like, like it's the just inversion. a stub. Yeah. It's just a stub, and you can yeah. barely see it over his gut. Yeah. Such a terrible mental picture. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Terrell. Can you get something for me there? Oh, uh, that's awful. I'm glad for him. You know, that's that's a great win. They're three yeah. and zero now. They're the fifth team in NFL history to lose 14 games. And then the following season, start three and zero. Only five other teams have. Yeah, but they had well, four eight guys go to the Pro Bowl that. last year, right? Yeah, well, they got talent. Yeah, I, that's what I said before. Before you run, he's got more talent on this Kansas City team than he ever had. So the Chiefs won by what score? Was the final score there? Chiefs. Twenty-six to sixteen. Twenty-six to sixteen. Mike, do you have that fat guy penis going on, like uh, where you can't see it's stubby? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I. Uh... I have that problem. Well, I tried to take care of it, but I, you know. But that's terrible. Tell but that's me, why man. he's Wait, a superhero. A superhero <laughs> shouldn't have a fat guy penis. <laughs> no, yeah, but he's right. a superhero, so he gets more babes. That's right. His, I, I melt a woman into coming with me. Oh, oh my go. God. <laughs> wow. That's. Can you say that? No, melt him. Like, melt, with, melt. Yeah, but I mean, the... coming with him. Like, coming with him. <laughs> <laughs> coming right. with him. But <laughs> well, well, Wonder Woman wouldn't have sex with you in that invisible jet because people see. Yeah. One, Wonder Woman wouldn't look like now. Uh, Oh, what? I wonder what Wonder it. Woman looks like now. You don't oh. have a shot. Linda Carter? Yeah. She looks great. She's doing commercials and stuff. Look at this fat kid who got uh, bi uh, heart bypass surgery. Yeah, right here. You Obese see? toddler. <laughs> Look at that kid. Asian kid, like a sumo wrestler looking kid. Wow. They had to block his Morbidly out, huh? obese baby before at 77 pounds. Man. How old is this kid for 77 pounds? A week. Pounds? No, not a week. <laughs> he's three months old. He weighed 77 pounds. Oh, he's two. He weighed 77 pounds. He got bypass, and now, well, it's kind of hard to see. He's still got tiny jugs, but I don't know. He's. Uh, now, can you do that to a growing stomach, a, a growing body? Can you can you do that? I don't think that's healthy. What a bypass. It doesn't seem healthy at all. Well, yeah. you, you, 
I guess he had to do it or he was going to die. I guess they were worried about him getting Oh, bullied. gastric bypass. I thought, okay. Kids get some fat out nowadays. Everybody gets worried. Yeah. Well, I mean, let him him. get fat. Listen, it's a chick getting fat. That's another thing. <laughs> they, should try, they should try to stop that. <laughs> uh, okay, you want my costs. five star lock of the week? Here's my five star lock of the week. Uh, see if you agree. Uh, guys, you're both NFL guys. One, uh, one a ten-year veteran, the other not. Um, uh, and I, uh, how about this? I, I think my five-star lock is the Giants. The Giants are at Carolina, so they're on the road, but they're getting a point. Oh wow! They're zero and two. Wait, wait, wait. Eli's not going to go zero and three, my friends. He's not going to go zero and three. And if you leave, he wins the game. They can't. They cover. So the Giants. Your thoughts? I like that because uh, the Giants. Oh no. Oh, re- sorry. Yeah. Uh, the Giants. The over. Yeah, I know. What Gatorade am I doing? Gatorade shower already happened. How, how is this happening? The game. <laughs> what is your the problem? Game just ended. Putting that sorry, lawsuit I got distracted. Yeah. That lawsuit. Are you doing that, that on purpose? I like it. Listen, the yeah, Giants. Yeah, you're right. He's doing that on purpose. He's doing it on purpose. And it's on TV. You know, anything that happens on TV, <laughs> it's always a good thing. And you know, he's like, and he's going to bring up the Pimp Daddy gang, too. That, that, yeah. Oh, yeah. We yeah. know those guys. Well, uh, here's the thing. The Giants are by far the worst team in the NFL at rushing the football. Mm-hmm. So they're not even going to try to do that. I think Carolina's D-line is awesome, and they can stuff the run. That doesn't matter, though. The Giants aren't going to try to run it because they can't. Victor, and so Victor Cruz, baby. Through the air. They have a great shot because I think that's where this uh, Carolina and I just defense think it's is pure weakest. Will Coughlin Manning not going to let them go 0 and 3? Not going to go 0 and 3. And yeah. if well, the they line win is the one game, point, so that's a safe bet, huh? Minus one. The Giants are getting a point. That's what I mean. Safe, that's un- that's a safe bet. Unreal. I, why are they getting? It'll a- probably change though by tomorrow. All right, is Carolina any good? What's Carolina's record? Well, Carolina is also 0 and 2. Yeah, they're 0 and 2. But the opening week they played Seattle. Who seems like the best team in the league right now? And what was so it? So which team? Seven, here we go. Maybe? Which yeah. team lost to Seattle the Seattle by five points? Here's the question, because it's basically a pick 'em. Which team is more likely to go 0 and three? Uh, Cam Newton's uh, Carolina Panthers or Eli Manning and Coughlin's New York Giants? Mm. Yeah, right. That's the question you're asking yourself, and the answer is clearly uh, more likely to go 0 and three to me is Cam Newton and, and yeah. the Panthers. Yeah. Well, their offense has been terrible this year. They've been so conservative and. So Can't you think score. that you think Carolina's defense will? You like their defensive front. Yeah, don't you? So they're not going to run the ball. Well, that's the thing. The Giants don't try to run it anyway. So it's all on the passing game. Yes. But then what happens on the other side of the ball? When Carolina has the ball? Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing. They, they, it's like they've been too conservative. They. Well, they want Cam just to be a, a passing quarterback, right? I they guess. don't want him to run no more. Well, that's yeah. They're I trying to protect right, them too the much. I met Cam Newton at let's the. Let's just take the Giants. I met Cam Newton at the uh, at the uh, uh, Celebrity Beach Bowl in Indianapolis two years ago. Oh yeah. Couldn't uh, could, could, you couldn't meet a bigger jerk off. Okay, really? Okay. So you didn't like him? I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Artie Lang show after this. <laughs> Welcome back to the Artie Lang show. Let's go to Mike in Texas. Mike, you're on the air. Hey fellas, how's it going tonight? Hey Mike, thanks for waiting. Online, what's going on? Hey, no problem. Nothing, man. Uh, Richie, how do you feel about the way the game went this year? How do I feel about this game, the Eagles and the Chiefs tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I... Yeah, hang on. Sorry, I, Mike. Uh, got a bad connection. We got to answer the question. We got to hang up. Yeah, I mean, I expected this, this to happen. And uh, the template for stopping this, slowing down the Eagles offense was created last week when the Chargers held the ball until the last second was left on the the, uh, play clock. And the Chiefs did a lot of the same. They dominated time of possession. Alex Smith is so smart. He he was 21 to 33, but I'm pretty sure 10 of those incompletions were him throwing the ball away, just not making mistakes out there. The defense did an incredible job uh, getting turnovers, interceptions, fumble recoveries. It's just a really solid team in Kansas City, and they're, you know, 3-0, and they deserve to be. Jason in Pennsylvania, you're on the air. Jason. Hey, what's happening? What's up, man? What's your question? It looks like an interesting one. My question is uh, maybe y'all's opinion on the biggest bum that ever won the Heisman Trophy. Who's the least talented player to win the Heisman? That's what it says. That's right. That ended up in the NFL. That ended up in the NFL. We'll uh, we'll hang up and discuss. What do you think? Jeez. 
<laughs> Ron Dane, maybe. Uh, Ron. How about John Capaletti? Isn't well, that where like the whole uh, th- like lightning thunder thing started, right? With him? Uh, he had a good kind little, he had of a little bit of he. Well, who's the guy? Remember that just the system the at Wisconsin. Archie Griffin, oh, Jason, oh, White. Jason White, Jason right? White. Yeah, he was uh, he had a little bit rickety of a and old, and it just seemed like he was. Oh, so the other kid from Oklahoma, beat up. Uh, the, the great running back, who went to the USFL and did nothing. That guy. Uh, yeah, what's his name? From from the early eighties. Uh, uh-huh. They did a thirty for thirty on him. Oh yeah, right. Maurice or, or something. Uh, uh, I forget his name. But anyway, he was uh, uh, Marcus Dupree. Marcus Not, Dupree. Yeah. Marcus well, Dupree. he was. This guy was unbelievable. Talent, he went though. to the USFL and got into a fight with Barry Switzer the last year he was there. Yeah. And then. Uh, well, he had the talent. That's the thing. We're, I'm thinking well, system I'm guys like Danny you know, Earl Campbell. Type Danny guy. Werfel is a system guy, who got the. The trophy just because of that offense he, he was play, in. He played in the league for a while, though. He held clipboards in the league for a I'm while. Is that he playing? <laughs> he's got a lot of. He, hey, he, the beats he loading trucks for a living, which is what I did. I, yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's, there's a few guys out there. It's funny. It's, it's amazing how you just can't predict how a great college player is gonna end up doing in the league. Sometimes it happens more in the NBA. More in the NBA, you'll see a great college player who does nothing in the NBA. That happens more often than a great Heisman type player in the NFL not doing. I mean, in college, not doing much in the, the NFL. The greatest Heisman player that didn't do anything in the NFL would probably be uh, what's his name from Florida State, played basketball instead. Charlie oh, Ward. Charlie yeah, Ward. Charlie sure. Ward. That's an interesting. He decided he did, to play he did, basketball. He did nothing in the NFL. There you go. It did uh, nothing in the NFL. Well, listen, uh, thanks so much, man, for coming in. We got to go. Thanks, bro. I appreciate but, uh, it. And come back anytime. Yeah. You Good always luck. tell me. That's why I just show oh, up. Yeah, just show up, dude. I'm telling you. You brought yeah, everybody. Sure. I, just show up. I didn't even bring that many people with me today because you guys weren't <laughs> cooking. Oh, bring an entourage. Bring an entourage. Were making, if you guys were making some food and had some frosty beverages. Bring an plans. entourage. Even, yeah. if it's just to, even if it's just to tell John how great your last three years in the league were. <laughs> Antonio, the right back after these words for more walking paper. The Artie Lang Show. Weeknights on Audience. Only on DirecTV.